Welcome back. In the last video we learned how to go through and create ourselves this lovely little Christmas card here. But what we need to do now is go through and save our image. Now for Second Life um, I often hear people say oh I saved it as a JPEG and I uploaded it. That's because Second Life actually then converts it into their own file type. What we need to do is make sure that when we're saving files for Second Life that we either save them as a .tga which is a target file or a .png and the reason that we do this is that they're the only two file types that allow us to save transparencies. Um, and now why you might say well that doesn't really matter this is not a transparent file and that's correct it's not. However it's just a good um, practice to get into that if you keep saving them all the time as PNGs or TGAs that if you do create an image with a transparent background you won't accidentally forget and then wonder why when you go to upload it that it doesn't have that transparency showing. There is a couple other tips um, in terms of saving images and what I'm going to do is click on file, come down to save as and you can see here we're going to name this and I'm just going to call this uh, Christmas card and what I'm going to then do is come, oops not what I wanted to do, let's try that one more time, file save as it thought it would be really helpful and save it for me here with its own little extension. Uh, .xcf, that's the native file type to GIMP and if you save your image as a .xcf what happens is if you come back and you open it up you'll actually have all the layers intact and it's a good idea to do that so that if you did want to come back and edit any part of your image it's still there. But what we're going to do is go through and save this. We're coming down here to the bottom and we're going to choose the file type and we're going to scroll on down here. It's in alphabetical order. Just having a little bit of trouble with the uh, size on my screen here. And you can see here, there's your PNG. And over here it says PNG. So we're going to click on Save. It will then pop up another window for us. Notice it says Merge Visible Layers and we're going to click on Export. Then it pops up another window. Now this isn't a transparent texture so where it says save background color is fine. If you did have it as a transparent image and you were creating one and you wanted that transparency in it you would make sure you turn that off. But in this case it's not. We've got that gradient as a background so we're going to click on save and then what it does it pops through and it saves it and you'll know that your image has been saved correctly because up the top here you can see it now says christmascard.png so that's a great thing about GIMP it automatically displays the new name. Now if you're going to do it as a targa you go file save as and I'm going to call this Christmas card two. down here to my extension scroll down to you'll find a TGA and then just go past it click on save you get the same sort of information. It says do you want to go through and flatten or to merge visible layers. We're going to choose merge visible layer. And the trick here when you're using a TGA is take off that R RLE compression and then click on save and you'll notice now that it says Christmas card 2.tga. So that's how easy it is to go through and save your images for Second Life. Of course now what you need to do is pop on over to Second Life and then click on file from the menu line and then scroll down to load image. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you over at sltextutorials.com.